Welcome everyone to our Divine Mercy Chaplet. I'm Father Michael Slovak, pastor at St. Michael the Archangel Church in Dunseith, North Dakota. I'm sharing to my Facebook account right now, or at least my uh, churches, and it's a beautiful day outside. It was all stormy earlier when we did the rosary, and the storm has indeed passed. It's beautiful again, just in time for me to uh, go out and do some errands. So as soon as we're done with this Divine Mercy Chaplet, I've been working on accounting all morning. I've been working on accounting for the last three weeks. I can finally take it and turn it in and be done with it. <laughs> Usually I only do uh, accounting every other week, uh, basically two times a month, but I got behind and it's taken me a long time to catch back up. I also want to mention that this is a very special week for my religious order. On Thursday, it is the uh, feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, which is the foundation date for my order. And in a normal year, I wouldn't be here. The sisters and I would all be in Texas, in Corpus Christi, having a big family reunion. <laughs> we call it an assembly. But this year, um, it's the first year I've ever seen that it's been it's been canceled. Interesting. This is, I'm having some connection issues. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna take one quick look to make sure my connection is good. Ah, no it isn't. I might lose you for just a second, but that's because we're going to a better, to a better um, connection. One second. Okay, so that should be a better connection. Sorry about that. I'm usually good about checking which router I'm on. I was still connected to our church, which I'm barely in contact with from this room. Um, but very quickly, we're about to start our Divine Mercy Chaplet. But needless to say, this is a special week for my religious order. We'd usually all be together. We're not this year because of the virus. But um, there's a lot of neat things that are happening this week, week regardless. A bunch of anniversaries, and I will give you a few of those when we're done with our Divine Mercy Chaplet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This Divine Mercy Chaplet is for each and every one of us, for God's imploring God's mercy and grace to help us, to help us win our battles, to help us get up when we fall down, to help us make it all the way to heaven. For us, for our families, for our communities, for our nation, and for our world. We pray especially for an end to this coronavirus crisis and for a full reopening of our parishes. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose from the dead, ascended to heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. The second decade. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. The Third Decade for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. The fifth and final decade. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me today. And just, I was telling you about this special week. Well, it happens that today is the anniversary of my perpetuals. In my religious order, we join the order, and for two years, we can leave at any time. And then we take what are called temporary promises where you promise to be in the order for a year. And at the end of that year, if you discerned it wasn't right, you could leave at the end of the year. Well, the day comes that the dating is over and you know it's exactly what God wants for you and what you want, and you take perpetuals, saying you'll be with the order and you'll be in poverty, chastity, and obedience for the rest of your life. Today is the anniversary of my perpetuals. And I, that should have been about seven years ago. Six years as a priest and, um, and one more year before that. So seven years ago, I made my perpetuals. Later on this week, um, I will have my seven year anniversary as a deacon because I made my perpetuals about three days before I became a deacon. So great week. Happy to be here joining, sharing it with all of you. And a little sad too. I wish I could be in Texas in Corpus, but um, God has a plan. And when he, when he shows us his plan, it's always for a reason and you just got to have fun. <laughs> so thank you everyone. Have a great rest of your day and the Lord be with you. And may almighty God bless you, protect you, guide you and love you through the intercession of Our Lady, Daughter of the Father, Mother of the Son, and Spouse of the Holy Spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. And thank you for the congratulations. Yes, it's every, I'm going to get an ice cream at Dairy Queen. <laughs> every day I have an anniversary, I'm getting a mulatte or something. <laughs> God bless you all. <laughs>